809, boy, what a phenomenal day you've missed. It's uh, 1026 uh, p.m. It's cold, rainy, and snowy as usual. We were supposed to get one to three inches overnight. I'll show you how much that ended up being right after the intro. Welcome back. Pretty much nothing. A slight dusting in the mulch where it's cold and frozen. A little bit on the roof. Roads are not wet, or not snowy, but they are wet. Um, been talking to Bobby, Colts at work as usual. Uh, classes got done big times today. Um, wrote an article for E39 Source, actually another good one, as if there's any bad content that I put out, you know. Well, this one's about the navigation display. One, name the car. Two, uh, I wrote a very in-depth, thorough article, like I did uh, maybe last week or two weeks ago. I, I wrote the one about the facelift head and tail lights on an E39. Well, this one, as it slowly loads, happens to be about navigation system upgrades. Anything you can think about that has to do with an E38, E39, E46, E53, E52, or E83 navigation system, that's really slow, uh, has been mentioned in here. Upgrading the computer, the display, going around the Trimble software. There we go, finally choosing to load images. Come on. It's a long article. It's like 1,500 words, but we got pictures in here. We got videos. We got more pictures. And the videos are down here at the bottom, and it's very thorough. If I had found something like this back when I was first looking into upgrading all my stuff, it would have been really nice to have all the information by somebody who's done it in one place regarding everything, upgrading the software and hardware aspects of it. So e39source.com if you want to check that out. Also, we added a new page today, the contact page. It's about time we have a way and a form for people to contact us. So here are the three administrators, cars listed, featured articles, emails, as well as a form to contact support so you don't have to open up your mail client and do it manually, and ways to contact our uh, YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter accounts. All right, guys, uh, I got cords around my neck because I'm getting ready to go up and get to bed. It is uh, 2.55 in the morning. Um, Cole got home from work, jumped on Skype. We did a bunch more E39 source work. Uh, once the Mac connects, we get to wait for it all to load again, but... We did a lot of work that we should have done before when we first got this site set up. Um, we added the contact page. I think I mentioned that before. We also added a participate page, which ex which describes how users can make videos and or write articles, all with form integration here. Also added the terms and conditions page, which is just good practice for a blog. Uh, in addition to Bobby getting his article up regarding the recall BMW recently made, or is about to make actually in March um, and then we got this it's not quite done yet we've got to figure out this alignment going on here but the post stuff down there we automated setup now for for a user enrollment uh, a lot of back-end stuff that really needed to be done anyways good productive day on the site I suppose it's cold and snowing again um, and it's March 1st welcome to the month of March the most two the two most miserable months of the year are done and now we're in probably the 4th, December's worth, Gen worth January, we see some progress. So uh, stick with me on that. we got 31 days to get out of the way before we're in April, and uh, we'll have a little bit more snow in April, May, and June, and July, and then August, the snow should be done. So uh, that's it for me. We'll talk in 810 tomorrow. I don't know what's going on. It's Friday. I have the day off. That's it. Sorry for a boring vlog, but hey, go read some E39 source stuff. we got a lot of work on that today, as I said. All right. Good night. Talk to you tomorrow.